Hey guys and welcome in our studio in Amelot. My name is Frank Dorhoff and you know normally when I upload my images to internet and you will probably do exactly the same we want something in there that will make people realize that it's our image right now you can do of course big logos with your name in it but that's not something I would advise it looks really ugly so what we do is actually a small logo in the bottom left corner now you might wonder why the bottom left corner yeah there's an idea behind this in the west we are known to read from the top left to the right bottom. Now if there's an attention point on the left bottom side, you will find out that your viewer has a little bit of problem leaving that image. Especially when you have a strong logo, for example our logo with the color red, it will really draw the attention of your viewer towards there. Now how do we normally do this? Now, normally of course our whole ecosystem is based on the Adobe workflow. So that means that on our mobile phones we use of course Lightroom Mobile or Lightroom CC and on the desktop I'm still using Lightroom Classic which in my opinion is still the professional choice. But sometimes you don't want to use Lightroom or maybe you're on a holiday and you don't even have Lightroom with you or maybe your wife wants to do something so you need something that's simple, that's easy to do and that's very very fast. Today I'm going to show you exactly that. Today I'm going to show you how photo marks can make your life a lot easier. Now this is photo marks and it's an app that runs on your Mac and let's just start out by just adding some images. So we press on the plus, now I've created some images, let's just import those four images, there we go. Now this is your first thing that you do, you import your images. Now after that you go to the second part, you see how easy it is, just press edit photos. And this is where it becomes a little bit more interesting. Now over here you can do add filters and that's something that's really nice for a standalone app because with those filters you can change your images. So let's just go through. The first thing we want to do is marks, but because that's the whole idea of this video we're going to do that last. So let's go for decorate. Now decorate means that you put something on your images to make it more interesting. Now in all honesty this is not something that I do and I think a lot of professional photographers would just want their images online with their logo but I just want to show you anyway. And they actually have a nice selection so let's go for example for the vintage frame. Now you just press OK and now you will open up your preview window. Now in the preview window you can literally see how that frame will look as you can see here. You can change your background color of course, for example let's say we want to go for black and you can, uh, you're going to change your style, let's say for example we want style 8 and you can choose to draw over a transparent background or apply a random frame, it just depends on what you want. Now if you still want to know how the original image looks, just go for a switch view. There you go, looks pretty nice right? But again I'm not going to do this. So let's look at another filter. You can also go for decorate, for example, for your race. Now, this is more interesting because now you will find out that your image looks a little bit more three-dimensional. As you can see here, you can change your border and of course you can also change the effect to lower or raise. Uh, very interesting, but again, not something that I would use. Okay, so you get the idea of the filters. You can also do transforms and this is interesting because normally with Lightroom of course you have to create a preset and you have to create for example 1200 pixels on the longest side. In this app you can do it all very easily from the app. For example you just go for resize, you press OK and you can set up your dimensions in, pers in percents or in pixels, your width or high or my personal favorite, my fixed width. Because on the internet you want everything to fit into a certain look, right? So yeah, that's easy. You can also choose for don't upscale images that are smaller. In other words, if you want everything to look exactly the same, but you have some images that are smaller on some images that are larger, this program will just upscale everything and make everything exactly the same size, of course on your longest size. Don't do this for different aspect ratios because that will look just funky. So I will just use always a longest side. Okay, we're not going to do this one too, because today I want to show you how to incorporate this software for your logo. So let's go for add filter and let's go for marks and let's go for logo. Press OK and now you browse to your logos. Now I highly recommend you guys to get something in a PSD or a DNG, that's opacity uh, friendly, let me put it this way. Otherwise you have this big black or white background, but you don't want it, you want your logo to be free floating. Now as you can see here it 
edit the logo and you can just move it around freely. As you can see here, this is really nice. Place it here, grab one of the holders and just make it smaller. Now you might think like, hey Frank, I want a little bit of opacity in this image. Nope. Of course you can also change the opacity. Now in this software it goes a little bit different than you might expect. You find here the alpha channel in percentage. Now with 15 you might think, hey it's really see-through, right? It's just the opposite. So let's change this to 75 and you will see the difference. Here you can hardly see it anymore. And let's just go for 50 for now. I think that's nice. So very, very dark, but it's still visible. Just press OK. And the nice thing is you will see it in all your images now. So just go for the images. And it doesn't matter which aspect ratio you choose. If you choose portrait or landscape or square, it will put it in exactly the same location as you can see here. Now the next thing, the only thing you have to do, and of course let me disable this one. The only thing you have to do is go for a setup. Where do you want to store it? Well, a folder on my computer. Let's do it on the desktop, why not? And let's create a folder called temp. So let's do on the desktop called temp. There we go. Now the output format, keep original image format if possible. In this case, we want to do that. And you can of course also create a single multi-page document from all your photos, PDF, TIFF or GIF. In this case, we just want the images to be online as quick as possible without any problems. So we're just going to press process. Process for photos, there we go, click and it's done. And as you can see here, all the images have a really nice art logo in the bottom, just as I said. Okay, so in essence, if you want a software package that's really fast, that is just straight to the point, resize, put your logo in there and export, I highly recommend Photomarks. There is something that I do have to mention. The images you saw today are smaller images, they're about 4 to 6 megapixels. The software also supports RAW files and larger JPEGs of course. Now, the customer support is amazing. They respond very, very fast. And the only thing we couldn't figure out on my machine is why I can't record the screen and open up large images. Now, your mileage may vary, of course. On my laptop, we had to lower the resolution of the images to do the screen recording. But furthermore, it works like a charm. So if you're looking for a fast solution to put in your watermark, resize your images, or maybe put in some nice frames, check out Photomarks. It looks awesome and the customer support is really good. And that's something that I think is very important nowadays. If you have a question, you need a company that responds fast and accurate. Thank you so very much for watching, guys. And the next time you want a logo in there and you don't want to use Lightroom, check out Photomarks. See you again for the next review.